Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to see about Agility Training Part 2. Last class of Agility we did all the workouts on spot. Today let's do some Agility with little movements. If you have doubts regarding any exercise you can comment below. Also you can even suggest some workouts to be demonstrated. The first workout is basic tap, running type. You could have already seen similar type of workout in the last class. Well, in this workout, tap your legs on the ground one by one like running motion. Start slowly to get the rhythm and increase your speed to the maximum in each and every time. There is only 10 seconds on which you are going to do, so do it fast. Then you have a 10 second break. The second workout is basic tap, both legs. In this type of workout, you should do fast jumps really fast. An important aspect is that your body should be in a half squat position while doing these agility workouts. This training helps every sports players to react easily. Especially court games like badminton, tennis, basketball, volleyball players have a great advantage of doing this workout. The timing is different in this workout. You should do for 5 seconds and take break for 10 seconds. The next workout is tap and front stretch. Start this workout by doing first type of running tap for 10 seconds and immediately stretch and touch the front mark. Don't relax in between the tap and stretch like this. Your reaction should be immediate response. Then only this training is effective. This training also helps players in badminton and tennis to react to the next shuttle or next ball easily. Badminton and tennis players should do a lot of agility training because their game will also be dependent on their reaction. The last workout is tap and side stretch. This training is very useful for your thigh muscles and your mental coordination. Follow the same tapping method and on the end of third second reach one of your sides by stretch like this. As I said before, your reaction should be very fast. I am showing a demo of this training. My counts may not be precise, but try to have someone to count the second and tell you to move. That will be more effective.